So I'm Kate Haberkamp and um, I'm the head of lettuce at Tassanac Farms. And I'm located in Crested Butte, Colorado, which is about 9,000 feet elevation. And I live in a small community of about 2,500 year-round residents and probably spikes up to 15,000, 20,000 in the winter and the summer with uh, second homeowners and visitors and tourists and so forth. Here in a residential community called Crested Butte South, uh, where I live, uh, we also have a small commercial district, which is uh, not large, but uh, growing over time. And I just put my farm here because of the location to my home, but also is kind of a just kind of a way to start getting some commercial activity going in our little corridor. Um, and the number one question or concern that I get from farmers or potential farmers is yield. And um, I always try to tell them that your yields, they're not going to be the same on day one as they are a year or two years from now, because like I said previously, it's all about um, being more efficient and learning and knowing what you did wrong once or how your climate was different once and how that impacted your yields and potentially yields obviously they're talking about how much profit they can make and i always say your yield and your profits your revenues they all have to change you have to be flexible and give yourself a break like a year or two break to really get to the point where you're in a consistent day-to-day -day yield because things aren't going to be the same and I, I always wish I had the magic number to tell people, can you really grow 560 heads of lettuce a week? And, you know, no, because sometimes your seedlings don't germinate and you don't know why. And you try to figure that out. So then your yield is different. And sometimes your AC goes out and your heads of lettuce are a little wilty or they, you know, don't grow the same rates as when it was the perfect environment. So do research about farms. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, 10 gallons of water a day. 560 heads of lettuce a week. All these things are all great numbers of what's what's possible, but don't expect it to be that way from day one. Um, I just tell people to give themselves a break and give themselves a cushion. And if you can't give yourself a cushion, then you may need to um, kind of sit back and wait to start your business because uh, you don't want to be stressing yourself out with yields um, from day one when you should be worrying about other things like just learning how to be a better farmer.